Hello and welcome to Bottle Ship with our friends the Jifflings. If you enjoy the show, please leave a review and share the podcast with your friends. And you can email us at thegiflings at gmail.com. And stay tuned to the end of the show when the Jifflings will read out some of your reviews. And now it's time for today's episode, The Jellyfish's Bandana. In your world, things are important. But what about the things that aren't important anymore? Well, sometimes those things end up here, in the magical land of Dilstonia, where little creatures called the Jifflings live on their little Jiffling ship. They find these things that we throw away and fish them out of their sea so they can recycle them and put them to good use once again. And here they are now, ready to work. Eccentric young pumpkin. Ooh, I'm ever so excited. The hedge, who was a very lazy jiffling. Like, hey man, is it time for a bed yet? Miss Katie, who loves fixing things and dressy up. Sometimes I like both together. Albert, the ship's gardener. Hey, who's been in a me cabbage patch like? And Friedeline, a very sensible Jiffling who looks after everybody on the ship. Yeah, that is correct. Oh. Today on the ship, the Jifflings are getting ready to play a fun game of tennis. Some of the Jiffs are a little bit better at playing than others. So they're going to take turns, and that way, no one will feel left out. Huh. First out onto the Jiffling tennis court were Miss Katie and Young Pumpkin. My favourite thing about tennis is going thwack with my special Jiffling tennis racket. Oh, I like thwacking. Indeed. Next out onto court were Friedeline and Albert. But Albert's tennis outfit looked a little bit grubby. Well, that's because I've been warming up by planting cabbages in my garden. Ha! Well, that does explain things, Albert. And I don't suppose it matters what you look like, just how much you enjoy yourself. Aye. Next, the Jifflings went to get their tennis net from the sea cupboard so they could fix it in place across the court. Now, we need all five Jifflings to help roll out the net. But I only see I'm, Spy, Dry, and I. Where is the Hedge? Hedge was often the last Jiff on deck for sports because he didn't always think he was very good at them. But today, he strolled out onto deck in his shiny, bright tennis outfit. Like, hey, man. Check out my super white tennis shoes. I'm like the coolest tennis jiff on the whole ship. All the jifflings looked at Hedge's little white tennis shoes shining in the sun. Well, they are very nice sneakers, Hedge. But right now, we need your help with our tennis net. Hedge gruffled a little as he jiffled over to help with the net. He really didn't think the others had spent enough time admiring his outfit. Hey, man. Before we lift the net, let's all look at my fluffy tennis headband. It's like going to make me the best tennis chiffling ever. Well, it is very nice, Hedge, but I'm not sure it'll make you any better at tennis. And if we don't get this net up, there won't be any tennis at all. Well, now Hedge was a grumpy little bee. He really wanted everyone to admire his shiny tennis things. But he grabbed hold of the net with the other Jeff and together they unravelled it across their tennis court. As they went to lift it into place though, they noticed the net was looking rather sorry for itself. Oh no! Our net is full of holes! Oh, even the holes have holes! We must fix it before we can play. Like first though, let's check out my super shiny tennis racket! Hedge! If we can't fix the net, we can't play the game. Then the hedge looked a little bit sad. But like, 
If I don't have all the shiniest, coolest tennis things, I'll never be any good at tennis. Listen up, Jiffs. Better down rackets for now, because that sound means an object which has been lost or thrown away on Earth has found its way into your net. Off you, Jiffle, to heave it in. <sighs> the object landed on deck with a sloopy slap. It was bright and yellow, with a fun pattern running all across it. Ooh, I think that's a snail's picnic blanket that he can lay all his delicious picnic leaves on. But then Albert stepped forward, for he knew just what the object was today. He hopped up onto the story seat, and then he began his tale. Well, this is the jellyfish's bandana, and my old guitar teacher, Sir Ellington Bass, told me all about it. Once, in the middle of the ocean, there was a great big talent contest called Pacific's Got Talent, where creatures from all over the sea would show off their special skills. There were terrific tap dancing turtles, and even an octopus who could tell the future. And also, there was MC Jellyfish, who loved to show off his brilliant rap skills. Well, you know me, I'm the big jelly jammer. MC Jellyfish with the top grammar. Can I get a hello? You know I'm smooth. The number one undersea gelatinous dude. Well, MC Jellyfish loved rhyming. And at first, he felt very confident of winning. But as he looked around at all the other creatures waiting to perform, he began to notice how good they all looked in their special sparkly costumes. Then he began to feel like maybe he wasn't good enough in just his plain old jellyfish clothes. So quickly he swam back home and covered himself from top to bottom in undersea bling. He had big gold rings on his tentacles and bright sparkly chains around his neck. And he wore a bright yellow bandana wrapped around his big jelly head. Then he swam back to the talent contest with his chest puffed right out. Well, check out all the shiny things that I got. I'm the blingiest seed thing from bottom to top. I rock gold on every tentacle, you know, so give me that award for being talented, yo. Well, the other creatures clapped, woo, but not quite as much as MC Jellyfish had been expecting. Then the head judge, Simon Crab, scuttled over. Oh, I'm afraid that's a no from me, MC Jellyfish. Oh, the performance was adequate. I just wasn't really interested in hearing about all the shiny things you own. Then MC Jellyfish hung his heavy see-through heed, and he realised he'd been rather silly. So he took off all his shiny jewellery, and he put down his yellow bandana, and then, without any fancy costume, he had one more try. I'm J to the Ellie Fish, here to let you know it don't matter how you look, only who you are, so don't w- worry if your bling's not banging, hold your head up proud, cause we all got talent. Well, this time, everybody really cheered, woo. Congratulations from Simon Crab. it's a yes! And so, MC Jellyfish soon forgot all about his bandana, because now he realised that he was just as talented no matter what he was wearing. And although having bright shiny things can be very nice, it really didn't matter, as long as he was enjoying himself. Yes, that's Jellyfish Fresh. And now, the yellow jelly bandana is here. Yes, Friedeline. But what could we use it for? Maybe it could be a jiffling flag 
to celebrate Jiffling Tennis Day. But then Hedge stepped hey. forwards. Why don't we fold the bandana over and stretch it across our tennis court to replace our broken net? That way we can all enjoy our fun tennis day. Hiya! Oh, what a helpful idea, Hedge. And so, all the Jifflings helped to fold the bandana over and fix it in place. Then the Jifflings had a most wonderful tennis match, where everybody whooshed and thwacked the ball to their heart's content. And even though Hedge wasn't quite the best at tennis, it really didn't matter, because he had just as much fun as everyone else. Yeah. And then, after a very jolly day, everybody yawned and stretched and realised it must be time for bed. Good night, young pumpkin. Good night. Good night, Albert. I'll see you in the morning, Lake. Good night, Friedeline. And it is a good night. Yeah. Good night, Miss Katie. Night, night. Good night, Hedge. Hedge? Oh, I think the head is asleep already. And goodbye to you too, wherever you are. Maybe next time you see a thing that you might throw away, you'll stop and see if you can use it again, just like our friends the Jifflings. And maybe the thing you use again will have a story to tell too. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to Bottleship. For all the parents listening, if you'd like to, you can donate to the show at patreon.com forward slash bottleship. And as a thank you, we'll send your child a personalised audio message from the Jifflings. And for all the children listening, if you enjoyed the show, please leave a review and share the podcast with your friends. We've had some lovely reviews this week, haven't we, Jifflings? That's right, like this one. It says, I'm Hattie from Australia and I'm five years old. I love listening to the Jiffling stories every night in bed. My favourite characters are Hedge and Miss Katie because they are so funny. I really liked the dinosaur salad tongs and the moose's antlers. Like, thank you, Harry Man. That is a totally cool review. And we've had this review too, from America. It says, Hi, my name is Elliot. I'm seven and from the United States. My favourite character is Young Pumpkin. I really wish I could see a picture of what the Jifflings look like. Thank you very much, Elliot. And here's another lovely review too. It says, Hi, Jifflings. I'm Olive and I live in California. I really want to see a picture of young pumpkin. My favourite Jiffling is Miss Katie. Her favourite thing is dressing up and I also love dressing up. I love, love, love her. Oh, what a perfect review, Olive. Thank you very much. And thank you to everyone who wrote us an email or sent us a review, like Sadie in Canada, and Easton in London, and Eloise and Owen, also in England, and Oliver in Georgia, USA. Thank you so much for writing to us. We really do love to hear from everybody. That's right, and if you'd like to send us an email, please send it to thejifflings at gmail.com Also, if you like listening to stories, why not check out our sister podcast, Storytime, for children of all ages. Thanks again, and we'll bring you more exciting adventures with our friends the Jifflings very soon. Goodbye! <laughs>